Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is my first official OnlyFans exclusive fucking stream. Very happy to have my first special guest. Who knows? I'm trying to convince him to make this his show on my OnlyFans network. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the bull, Shane Gillis. Are you not excited to be here, Shane? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just, I'm just goofing, man. I'm, I'm stoked. This is great. You know, you were asleep on the couch. You forgot about it. You no, really- I actually wasn't asleep. I was watching the 2008 uh, NLCS uh, Dodgers Phillies. I was watching it with my old man. Me and my dad just watching some baseball together. Oh. God damn, it's nice. I love having a dad. That sounds pretty incredible. Just like having a dad, yeah. watching some baseball, bonding. I don't have dad, any memories baseball. of my father at all. <laughs> yeah, fucking rules, man. It really <laughs> helps. <laughs> it really helps having a family unit. But, uh, you know, yeah, my family stayed together and worked hard. But, uh, no, you're, you guys did all right, right? I, no, at all. Not at all. My father, I have – the only memory I have of my father is wrestling on the bed with him once. Oh, that's sweet. No, it was like a fight. Like we, got a, we got to a fist fight, and it was a lot of a lot of ground game. And then another time, uh, watching the Goonies in a hotel room. I remember we lived in a hotel room, like a shitty motel style thing. And I remember just one other memory of like uh, just broken glass and like things all over the floor of the hotel room because my mother and my father had gotten into a violent fight. And then we had a huge dog for some reason in this hotel room named Dookie, and we named him Dookie because he would shit all over the hotel room and nobody would clean it up. So oh, I named fuck. the dog after the habit of my heroin addict mother. Holy shit. No, I, I think my earliest memories are just my dad instilling in like instilling me like hard work and just never give up and follow your dreams and like just love and commitment to family. And uh, yeah, so that's, I think that was early on what I remember, but yours was glass and dog shit everywhere. And <laughs> yes. No, that's really fucking really terrible stuff. Dude. <laughs> I was glass and dog shit I'm everywhere. <laughs> I remember there was like a um do you remember this shit? This is a shitty toy. Uh this is uh it's almost like it's a it's a toy horse that's like but there's like springs that like are on the, there's two springs on the front of it, two springs on the back of it, and it's, it's mm-hmm. sort of that hold it to a base. Yes, yes. And you get on that okay, horse. And you, yeah, it was a shit. It was a shit oh, well. toy. I had one of those, and I remember I was one time I was on it. I must have been three or four, and I couldn't get off of it because it was dookie shit everywhere, <laughs> and it was like <laughs> landmines that I couldn't possibly avoid. Damn. Is this what? What do you? What do you want the show to be? Do you want it to just be us talking? Um, what, is it supposed to be more of a, a high? No, 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 I wasn't sure. No, I like it. You and me just chatting. Just me and you fucking people bring some of the fans in. I don't need to do a high concept fucking thing. Look, this is going to also be my headquarters for the Legion of I'm a fucking idiot, dude. Has my mic been off this whole time? Is that why you sound like so much shit right now, dude? It sounds like such shit. And I was just accepting it. I was like, fine, you know what? OnlyFans is not going to get a really good high quality stream. It's okay. And I just accepted that. Here we go. Oh my God, Shane! I I've mean, been, night I've been and talking day. into it. It sounded like you were on the other side of a door. Yeah, and somehow my audio significantly got better. Your audio got better. Yours sounded shitty for a minute. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. But it's know. okay. This is the first ever fucking Shane Gillis show exclusively on Louis J. Gomez only. Fans. I apologize, everybody, for that. Um, but no, it's good. It's actually probably good you don't have a dad right now. Although, I mean, he was a minority, so he'd be able to pop off right now. But white dads are bringing home – they're bringing the hottest takes on earth right now. Yeah, well, white dads – I mean, look, it's good. To, the other reason it's kind of good for me not to have a dad as well because – like, or my dad being dead and my mom being dead. See, Shane, your mom's alive, right? Yeah. See, so you're – you have to go through the pain of both of your parents dying. Uh, no, I think you get older and you kind of like, all right. You accept it? No, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be real, real fucking sad. But you're uh, going to be more sad. Uh, your mom or dad? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fucked up. Dad. <laughs> yeah. 
I just, you know, I respect men more. <laughs> dude, it's just going to be fucking. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. If I'm, I, it's so funny. We had dinner tonight, uh, the three of us. And uh, I was able to talk. I can talk them into a fight at any moment. So uh, I just, all you have to do is bring up a pool. My mom has always wanted a pool and my dad refuses to get a pool here. And, so, and would uh, she be okay with like an above ground pool? No. There's no way. She, I think she's, she's doing it purely for clout. Oh, clout chaser. There's, the clout there's chaser. clout. There's, yeah. there's, there's, there's different forms of clout for us. For us kids, it's like, you know, Instagram likes for fucking middle class suburban moms. It's like, Built who has pool. a fucking sick pool? Well, let me tell you something. The difference, because Bobby Kelly just got an above ground pool. And I, this is what garbage I was when I was a kid. Like, I had no idea how cheap an above ground pool is. How much are they? They've got it's be like fucking doggy an above ground pool. Like, uh, 20? uh, he has, I believe it's a 16 foot or 20 foot above ground pool, like circular above ground pool. How much? How much you use? How much are you guesstimating that it costs? I would honestly guess that costs twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. I would have guessed ten thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars. Shame, like a nice <laughs> above ground pool. Shame. <laughs> no, it's less Shane, than that. Shane, it's fucking three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> no, Shane, no, yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna surprise my mom like tomorrow and be like, I got you a pool. <laughs> Wait, there's three hundred dollars. So you can get her a beautiful one for a grand. Like a grand would be a fucking like she would come out and she'd be like, whoa, was that like a custom? She uh, would slide. Fucking spaz, dude. She Dog. would be so upset if I got like a cheap <laughs> above ground pool and had it installed in the backyard. <laughs> it's just you putting it in, just <laughs> pounding down the dirt to make the earth even. Yeah, a little tamp, get a little tamping going. No, that would be uh, that would be chaos. That would, I mean, can't even imagine. But yeah, you build, like uh, I, sh- I got to turn the comments off. It's literally all I read when, uh, yeah, you build a nice deck around the above ground pool. I'd have no problem with an above ground sick. pool. Like, look, in ground, but in ground pool, how much? I have no idea how much an in ground pool would even be. I think those are like seventy grand, eighty. See, but grand. that's the thing. I would have thought that too until I found out that an above ground pool is three fifty. Above ground pool being three hundred. <laughs> that's like a, a nice dinner. Yes, dude. That's you can fucking insane. To, a nice dinner and a movie can fucking cost you three fifty if you date a young chick. Some bitch yeah. who just doesn't care. Yes. That's a and pool. Yeah, or you get a pool. Bobby Kelly got a <laughs> three hundred fifty dollars. That's actually really depressing, man. Bobby's, yeah. Dude, it's so depressing, but it's really nice. The kids fucking love, dude. I bring James up. He loves it. Max loves it. I mean, what do you, you know? Why wouldn't you do it? It's almost like you got to say, like, all right, well, I'm not going to spend Shannon or Shannon. Well, Shannon's not even here. Eric, somebody in the chat, somebody find out how much an in-ground pool an average in-ground pool in new york costs because i'm gonna guess it's probably that's probably like 15 20k now in ground in new york city not in new york city in like new york westchester jersey i bet you it's like eighty thousand dollars no uh this says around thirty five thousand dollars in pennsylvania six thousand dollars says hannah no way hannah you kill yourself. Hannah's Hannah's saying she'll do it for you for six G's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not six G's. Uh, just to get it in Michigan, it was like twenty three thousand. So I bet it's a lot. Uh, seventy eight thousand in New York. Seventy eight. Whoa. Yeah. No, I was literally just looking at pool prices earlier today. Oh, uh, because your mom. Yeah, maybe I could. Maybe I could. Me and my me and my dad could surprise her with a very nice in ground pool. I'm mean, it's difficult to surprise her. It's going to be, you know, a six week project of digging out. No, a, no, a no, not pool. nothing. Overnight, you're going to do it. Nah, I just got to chill, bro. Yeah. Um, I, because the problem is there's such a big gap there. So you can go $350 in an above ground pool or $80,000 for an in ground pool. The or 350 bucks, dude. The difference of experience is not that much. Like, what is 80,000? How many times 350 is that? I mean, that is not like it's a, an in ground pool is like four or five times as cool as an above ground pool, but that's it. Uh, no, it's it's a lot cooler. Five, times, pool. five times a lot, Shane. If I weighed five times as much as you, that'd be a lot. 
<laughs> You'd be uh, Bobby. Kel- no, uh, oh, what are we talking about here? Look, the above ground pool is a is dude. It's it's night and day how much better that is than a, the, or excuse me, an in ground pool is so like you can't even the price is is reasonable. Three hundred fifty. 350 for an above like you would have to pay me to put an above ground pool in my house in my behind my house i would i would put an above ground unless pool i lived house. in the middle of fucking nowhere if i was in the woods or some shit i'd be like yeah fuck it no one's gonna see this see you're fucking set you're your status guy i'm not i say i don't care i don't trust care. me if you lived in the suburbs ever in your life you got you, i'm going you to move to the suburbs very soon and i promise you my son already asked me i was like james we're gonna move to the suburbs soon we're gonna move to westchester jersey <laughs> And he goes, can we get a pool like Max? And I was like, three, I get you fucking two pools, James. You kidding me? 350? 350. You, <laughs> you can get pools? us a pool, dude. <laughs> Just save James, up one James summer. James can literally afford a pool. <laughs> yeah. My seven-year-old could afford his own pool. That three, dude. So what? Bobby like looked at you and was like, dude, guess how much this costs? <laughs> yes. Just take a guess. <laughs> $350. Were I was like, like, was like, I was like 20, 20K minimum. <laughs> Why would you? What was it? The, that must have been the shitty. It might have, like it must have literally been tarp filled with water, like a put. Like how it was the bare minimum, and like I know Bobby does well, so I feel like Bobby. Why wouldn't you just get a twelve dollar I mean. above ground pool? But it was really yeah, nice. Just a, it wasn't really nice. You're being you're being polite. No, it was. It, was it really had cool. to be shitty. He takes Dude, it he down. Is gonna, at the end of the summer, he's going he's gonna to take it down and put it in the shed. <laughs> That's where it's at. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> he keeps his pool in his shed? <laughs> uh, uh, Dude, get him in here. Call him up. Get Bobby. Let me see Bobby. I'll see him right now. I'll see if he can come on a Zoom. Let me get him on a t- – I'll, I'll call him Yeah, on, text um, him. I'll call him on speaker. Let me see. Hold on. That's fucking hilarious. He's going to trash Bobby for his pool. I'm just going to ask him why he keeps his pool in the shed. He's trying to make his kid happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, just spend some money, dude. I, mean, I just feel like, the, I mean, it's, I can't hate on it, Shane. Oh. That would have been great if he answered. What a bitch. What a pussy. Yeah, he's he's going to fucking dis- – he's going to break that pool, dude. No, he doesn't go in it. His kid goes in it. All right. I'm sure he does, too. I'm sure he does. If for well. 350 you could get, like, a fucking ball and slip and slide. If you're only, like, just keeping it in the backyard in the shed, you could get, like, a sick slip and slide for that, which is significantly better than a pool if you're not using it. That's just for true. kids. If you don't care about the status, you're just putting your body in a in a in a, a body of water, and that's all you need. You know, I don't really understand this whole thing. I th- knowing that a fucking above an in ground pool is eighty thousand dollars and above ground pool is three fifty, it's not even close, Shane. I'm never getting an in ground pool unless I buy a house that already has it, and I will install an above ground pool. I'll install an above ground pool in my front yard, my I backyard. Don't know. I'll get an inflatable hot tub. It'll just be a bunch of shit, <laughs> white trash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a yeah. tent. I'm gonna get a tent and a fucking uh, <laughs> like one of those like portable heaters and just boil water in it. And make my own steam. Yeah, room. get a uh, turn this fucking chat off. Somebody made me laugh in the chat just now. Oh, that wasn't me. Damn. They hose Bobby off in the driveway. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. Um. No, you were making me laugh. Your house. You got to get a bouncy house, too. Uh, trampoline. Yeah, trampoline but like, white trash. You say that, but your studio's nice, and you didn't have to make that nice. You could have saved money, but you wanted something nice. It's different. It's different. And, and you know what? You're right, Shane. Maybe I'm talking a lot of shit, right? So if... No, but just, in-ground pools are fucking sick. The, They're awesome. The, I would the, want one, too. Look, I want an in-ground pool as well. And when I buy a home, it will more than likely have an in-ground pool. But right now while I'm renting, I don't really give a fuck about it. It's just a body of water who really yeah. gives a shit, you know? But, yeah, you're right. When I, The studio, it's different, though. There's a function there. We have 22 shows. They come down. They got to feel like they're in the best podcast studio they've ever been. I hear you. I you hear know? you. That they perform sense. at a higher level because they come into that type of environment. I'm sorry. I, I think I'm fighting my manager. 
What's going on with your manager? Are you getting fucking dropped? No. No, we're not fighting. I, I just was asking about because I think the dates on my website are all fucked up. You just and I kind of. Right? When's that? September 25th to 27th. Everyone agreed to do the new dates. And every time I <laughs> mention it to a comic, they're like, oh, when's that? I'm like, do, are you guys not paying attention to the fucking dates? No, I haven't. That's. That's what a big problem is right now with uh, my manager and I. Not a big problem, but just what we're talking about is I've agreed to do all these shows and uh, none of them, I don't remember any of them. I just got emails to do all these shows and now like people DM me and be like, I can't wait to see you in Pittsburgh this weekend. And I'm like, holy fuck, I'm in Pittsburgh? Are you in Pittsburgh? I got, and then I look it up and somehow it's still on Pittsburgh Improv's website. And then I got to call my manager and be like, am I doing Pittsburgh? And they're like, no, we rescheduled that. And it's like, all right. Like it's, it's been that with like six different shows. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Pain. Well, you're doing Skankfest September 25th or 27th. Oh, dude, I just got a call. I just got a call from this no caller ID thing. And I answered it the other night. I answered it late. And it was this, they said they were Russian. All right. Okay. And they were like, they wanted to interview me about, comedy so it wasn't like a telemarketing scam oh somebody who knew who you were somebody who knew who i was but they didn't say anything they didn't like it wasn't like a, pr a good prank call if it was a prank call and then they just asked for my email that was it did you get they're like i gave him like a, a email i don't use but like didn't make any sense at Every all time, i always assume it's somebody pranking me they're like i know because comedians do that now. Like Jessica yeah, for did sure. that to me recently. She did a prank that just didn't go anywhere. She was like, hey, uh, do you want to do this show in uh, Westchester next weekend? I was like, yeah, I don't really book things like that. You got to email me. I'll forward it to my agent. She's like, yeah, but you got to tell me right now. I was like, yeah, then the answer is no. She's like, yeah, but you, you don't want to make money? I was like, no. Click. Was all <laughs> well, pranking you would be funny. No, you I, would not, spaz. You'd be like, fuck no. you. That's not true. I'm not, I don't. I don't buy that shit, doggy. I'm very calm, cool, and collected in real life. Well, this was like I was like, well, wait, how'd you get my phone number? And it was like I used the Googles, and I was like, <laughs> wait, you just Googled my phone number? I was like, yes. Why do you ask this? Because I want to know so my like, number. Google my, is that crazy? Want to find out where you found my number? And yeah, I don't know. I I, I also I've I've been like kind of paranoid about it, but it's also like, what are they gonna do with my email? That's, Isn't it weird that's that public we care info. More, we care more about like, we for some reason a phone number we're like that freaks us out. But you can just call somebody on Instagram and do a, fa a video chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Like, what's the difference? It's just a different thing in your hand to get Dude, to the same exact thing in my, their hand. I as soon as uh, the SNL thing happened, like my phone number got out to every single news. Like everybody just called me. Really. You can just call people. My, my parents' cell phones were getting blown. Like, everybody I knew got phone calls from, like, fucking CNN and shit. They can just call you. Then what'd you say? Weird. You're, like, you're like, hello? You're like, I just bummed. didn't fucking, I didn't They're answer. Crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yes, let me talk to Anderson. <laughs> I want to talk to Anderson Cooper today. You try to hide it. It's like, not no, fair. I'm not crying. <laughs> yeah, dude. I also don't get, like, so the, today, this, uh, you know that Cat Cohen lady? Yeah, yeah, she's getting in trouble for doing exactly what Legion of Skanks does every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, somebody, one of her fans tweeted, it was it was a very funny tweet. This lady tweeted, like, while I was getting fired, and uh, Mullen actually sent it to me, which is funny. Uh, he was like, look at this. And it was, somebody was like, please, SNL, replace Shane Gillis with Kat Cohen. She's oh, nice. a genius, so funny. And then, like, the last couple of things, it was like, this is a correct, brilliant, genius opinion. So I just, you know, retweeted it. And then everyone's like, I don't know. Everybody who's acts like I like begged for my job or acted like I didn't, like I thought I was a victim. I literally never once said I was a victim. No, I just I don't, don't get it. Yeah, I don't think people think that. I mean. No, these people every single time, they're like, sorry, you're not getting on SNL. Stop trying to be a victim for what you did. It's like, I never once said like, I well, literally That's the other thing more. is you did get literally on SNL. That. That's the other part. It's like, don't, because people, the, the people that would gloat and they'd be like, yeah, how does it feel to not get SNL? Like, well, no, like, let's not get the shit twisted. I was talented enough. I didn't put whatever <laughs> yeah, the other dumb it. political game, the shit that wouldn't have mattered all throughout the history of the show until right now, right? 
all yeah. that shit, to be honest, with you, which would have killed the opportunities for so many greats that were on that show. If you had video cameras in fucking comedy clubs or podcasts. <laughs> yeah, when they were, and, when they were you, new. Yeah, dude, are you fucking crazy? I used to say <laughs> that about Bob Saget because he became like America's friendliest dad, but he was doing like rape jokes in the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. 80s, and he became like this TV friendly guy, but you just didn't huh. have the access to that. I'm still right here. There we go, bro. Shane Gillis. I'm still right um, here. But you, uh, yeah, I think that it's sort of like, no, you, you, you got the gig. You did the hard part, which is being fucking talented enough to get the gig. And then all the other bullshit just fucking didn't work out. But so how long has it been since that all happened? Uh, we'll be at the end of the summer. It'll be a year. Dude, I mean, we did we had the Zach's bachelor party. It was so oh. dope. We were so excited. Oh, it, was like, Shit, just kinda, it was the first time we hung out, I think, since you officially could like talk bro. about it. That was, was like, like literally the best night of my life. I mean, it was probably night. a lot of it probably had a lot to do with these strippers and Molly and also <laughs> knowing that I was gonna be on SNL. <laughs> it was a pretty good combo. What a night, dude. <laughs> I mean, what it was a, a great night. combo. Doing drugs off of hooker asses <laughs> at Zach's bachelor party, celebrating at the same time my friend Shane being on SNL. What uh, a night. Oh man. And wow. genuinely like one of the happiest nights of my life. But uh, again, I think that had I did I do think that did have a lot to do with the Molly that we took. <laughs> Off of her I mean, I just sat on the couch. I didn't even like talk to the girls. I just sat on the couch with O'Connor like the rest of the night. Dude, what so we just sat thing. there like looking at the lasers and the strippers would like come over to us and I'd be like, I'm so fucking high. And they'd be like, Oh, you so high right now? They loved it. They were so happy that I was Dude, high. The strippers were so you, you, when they, they were like, hilarious. Oh, when they came over to be like, Yo, your friends are gay. <laughs> they, won't, they won't touch us they won't it was touch like us. that it I was know, like that at the beginning it was like all comics middle comics school dance me too and at oh, one point yeah. you remember at one point i just yelled out i was like you could touch their pussies because <laughs> she gave me the information oh it was great yeah. it was it was very nice but um yeah it'll be about a year and uh it, it's yeah, it's also funny people occasionally just be like fucking let it go dude it's like all right give me a minute it's dude, like hasn't even been a year <laughs> yeah man give me a second yeah and I, I, again it's uh, anyway i'm still talking about it, but it was funny well, to smoke fucking clear, post that dude. shit today you know well yeah i mean that chick heck, i'm not gonna fucking pile on to that chick you know no i, I don't know her i don't know her was she shitting her. on you specifically when you got... No, married? no, no. It was... No, no. I mean, she probably was, without a doubt. They all were. I mean, that was yeah. that was like the woke comics, like, currency is to put out a tweet, like... Well, that's why racism. that girl's in trouble for doing shit that's mild compared to somebody like Legion of Skangs or Ari. Yeah. I mean, or, or Amazing Racist is worse than anything that that chick fucking did. Um, but we don't pretend to be woke fucking SJW. We're too fucking good for people. I'm getting there. People. We, we no i got woke i'm getting woke dude you're getting woke dude no you're not yeah my guilt my up. guilt's creeping in no way it you is massage you want to rub my feet dude you want to wash my feet no 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 i'm not saying like my white guilt i i did say guilt i just meant uh yeah i don't know there's just there's like gay issues that uh oh come on dude ease up stop. i care about no stop. you know no, i really care sure. about the uh fucking pussy plight of uh Ugh. Asians, actually, ironically, you That's know, the I really one. care about one. that now. Yeah, I'm turning it around. Yeah, no, 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 no. fuck them. <laughs> fuck, fucking chinks. <laughs> no, fucking no, 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 no. I would never say that. <laughs> I, can I would say never it. say something like that. I can say it for no. You reason. can't say it, dude. We watch fucking um, what do they call it? Uh, oh, uh, a Wizard of Oz two, Return to Oz. Oh, he thought some flying monkeys were getting him. No, dude, not flying monkeys, dude. Return to Oz is fucked up, dude. Have you ever seen Return to Oz? No. Yeah, is it dude. with uh, James Franco? No, 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 Didn't no. That's like one? the remake, dude. It's fucking just crazy. This is the hall of fucking heads. This bitch just has all these heads. I remember as a kid, I was, I was my son's age, and I, I was seeing him from school one day, and I watched it, and I was like, what the fuck is this, dude? This is oh, like it's Wizard an old one? Yeah, it's 1985, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, the 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 wheelies or the wheelers or dude. It's fucking. Did you ever watch uh, Willy Wonka? The tunnel scene is the classic, like traumatizing scene. Uh, when I was a kid, I watched. I, I've talked about. Uh, I watched um, Watership Down. You ever hear this? No. It's like a cartoon about these fucking rabbits. It was a book, but it's British, and for some reason, every like British, 
like fairy tale or story like that is always like a ton of like death. Yeah. Probably because it was like right after World War II and they just got bombed forever. But Watership Down's like it's just a story about these rabbits that and he one of them has like a vision of their shit get, like all their tunnels getting suffocated. Yeah. And because he has like a premonition because they're actually their den is on like a construction site. So a couple of them escape the den and go try to find a new one. And all the other ones that stay there get suffocated and they show it. They show like the panic in the den of them like trying to dig and bite and shit. And there's blood. There's blood in the, they get in fights with other rabbits when they leave. There's a cat that fucking kills them. One of them gets hit on a snare, like a trap and like, is like twitching and dying. Yeah. Watership Down's like a fucked up movie. Yeah. I don't know what any, any of that is. That sounds terrifying. All yeah. those movies would, fu- you know, for, you just get, say you just stay home from school and there'd be no parent to monitor what you were watching. Yeah, you were watching, yeah, you were watching like horror movies. I was watching terrible stuff. Dude. I saw Warriors for the first time. I was like seven when I saw Warriors. <laughs> There's just like straight up like rape scenes in that movie. The amount of rape that I was exposed to as a child is bananas. Just I saw bananas. Uh, I saw Cujo. I was at my aunt's house and she she let me watch Cujo when I was probably around seven years old. And then uh, our car broke down on the way home from a Christmas party. My aunt was in our van. I remember and I was in the trunk. And uh, we broke down in front of a barn and a dog started barking and I started like spazzing. I was like, Cujo's going to fucking kill us right now. And my mom was like, who, 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 how the fuck did you see Cujo? Cujo? My, Cujo. Yeah. You ever hear Cujo? <laughs> then I said, Cujo? <laughs> All right. I was doing your mom. Anyway, I can see Cujo? you're not interested in my sick ass Cujo story. No, you I love your sick ass Cujo. Die on the water ship down. Cujo wasn't a really scary movie. That's the, these are kind of pussy movies. I thought it was scary when I, I was. I saw. I don't even remember it. I just remember I saw, it was like a I, when I was seven years old. I saw Body Parts, doggy. You know, I just what's fucking, that? It's about a fucking doctor who just cut up women, cut their titties off, <laughs> cut their body parts up. Just fucking. It was just there was no there was no plot. It was just pure gore. And I remember just sitting there and like the, the the kids parents it wasn't even my mom that let me see this this was just like a kid who actually was from a pretty decently good home and still like they didn't give a fuck at all it is really amazing truthfully the way that you turned out like uh you should have killed somebody by now maybe possibly i think you but will i remember my sister used to get really afraid of horror movies as well or you're gonna, like, yeah. we would watch demons or we would watch the exorcist and I remember one time we had watched, I think it was the movie Demons. Exorcist was scary. Exorcist was scary. Sorry. I don't remember Demons. But my mom was sort of a devout Catholic, um, as most drug addicts are. And she had a huge crucifix like on the living room wall. And we were watching Demons. And then at one point, I just like looked over at the crucifix. It was like, oh my God, why is that crucifix spinning upside down? And my sister nearly shit her pants she started crying and hyperventilating oh, <laughs> she fuck. just she just whatever it was dude it just hit her and she uh it was so fucking funny there was also all right so there was this thing called spook rock road where i grew up shane you would have fucking do shit this is why me and you are friends because you would have been a straight up regular of spook rock road undoubtedly uh, a regular goer of spook rock road all right let me hear it so spook rock road was a road in rockland county new york okay and it's a hill. And it's not a crazy and a steep bus, hill. bus crash and somehow your car goes back up the hill? Yes. Yes. And if you put, like, powder on the windows, you can see handprints? We, that wasn't true. That side of it, we never had tested that side. I can't say. You know what? Unconfirmed. Yeah, we have one of those hills here. I know. Some fucking dumb magnetic shit. It's, it only works for old cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one here. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, same dude. exact rumor dude. and How yes i went it, there dude? a lot it was How awesome was <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it ruled well our story wasn't a bus uh a bus crash our story was so there's a rock in the center of spook rock road that looks like a giant fucking like american indian head it's a huge rock right oh you guys had native americans so we had a native american you were, were upstate new york so we had native americans and the story was that a girl like a white woman was sacrificed on the rock by native americans and if you park your car at the bottom of the hill and put it in neutral the girl will pull your car back up to help her from being fucking raped and murdered by these savages it was just a racist, oh nice it was a racist story as well <laughs> yeah well truthfully uh <laughs> They did do that a little bit of that. I just got into this. I just got into Native American history. Oh, yeah, I'm dude. excited about it. Yeah, they're getting wild. They got wild. They were, 
They nibbled fingers a lot. That was one of the things they liked doing. What do you mean they nibbled fingers? They would just bite people's fingers off a lot. Like if they captured you, if they captured you, you'd be walking. You guys would be on a march and somebody would just be like, all right, it's time. Just grab you, bite your finger off, keep it moving. They did that a lot. Now that's that. That was actually the Indians by you. You were you were right by uh, where a lot of these tribes were, which is pretty exciting. You had some mohawk up there. You had some good stuff. Yeah, some waka waka tuka hawks. Yep, some waka two hawks. <laughs> the waka two hawks and the uh, <laughs> yeah 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 the mama tonkins. Uh huh. Yeah, I love um, I love all the Indians. Every one of them, dude. Indians did rule. I, I, it was funny because I read like they the were first... savages, though, right? They were like, like I, I'm not being an asshole. Like I feel like the European settlers could have, they could have come to a verbal agreement, but as soon as they got off the boat, the Indians started biting their fingers like crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There was, it was a lot of, uh, you know, it was imperial greed. It was England and France being like, uh, yeah, get them the fuck off that land and go fucking steal all the resources there and these you know it'd be like a tribe of like a hundred people being like no this is our mountain range and the the british people were like yeah no no they're like how they're like i'll show you how (laughs) they shot him in the head (laughs) yeah they no it was truthfully that was uh that was on the white man but it did it, it did eventually become like atrocity versus atrocity like you know if indians if indians took you prisoner you were getting fucking tortured to death Probably in like, yeah, in a way worse brutal way ways. than the So then Europeans. The, the Europeans the Europeans were like, All right, well let's go kill that entire village. You know, so it was back and forth. And then the Indians would come into a town and kill people and then the white people would go kill a town. So it, you know, that's how humans work typically. Yeah. I just feel like back then, just in general, like if you're like if you're in eighteen thirteen. Yeah. This is no, I mean, no, I'm this talking is, this, this is, is like earlier. this is like seventeens. Yeah, this is earlier. You know what? I was a little century. bit off. Was, no, no, there was Indians. Indians in eighteen thirteen were still getting wacky. No, that was like cowboys and Indians, though. I feel like that's when we're getting into that shit now. Uh, yeah, slightly. Like eighteen thirteen is like what were the fucking eighteen thirteens <laughs> like? Who knows? You're you're looking at eighteen thirteen. Well, that was a war between us and England, the War of eighteen twelve. But you're looking at uh, like the Revenant, like around that time. That was about that time. I never saw the Revenant. Oh, you got to watch. Oh, it's funny. This was making me laugh. I, I made a girl watch it like two days ago. And uh, if you if you ever want to, it might be the most hated movie a girl can watch. Why? The Revenant, because first off, the, there's no dialogue, which means girls girls have to figure out what's going on in it. You know, how girls like sh- girls like movies and shows where the character, even if he's by himself, is explaining exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Out loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Monologue. Just yeah, verbal inner monologue constantly. Yeah, like oh, I don't like that person. Yeah, women. Are yeah, they can stupid. follow along. They can follow along with that. But it, the revenants mostly quiet. I mean, that's why they hate the movie. There will be blood. They hate the movie No Country for Old Men. I didn't see any of the these revenants. movies. These are all manly movies that I've heard of that I feel like I those, should want to see. All those movies fucking rule. Dude. I did see the gem movie. The gemstones or the no, no, no. fucking. Uh, I know no, what you're no, talking no, about. No, no, gem. Gem and uh, the holograms, you know. Gem and the holograms? You, you don't remember Gem and the... <laughs> sure, were you too manly as a child to not even know what Gem and the holograms are? <laughs> no, I've never heard of that. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is Gem but... and the holograms? <laughs> Shane is so fucking manly. <laughs> no, no, no. I was gay. I was gay as a kid. Every no, kid's dude. gay. Dude, you've never heard of Gem and the Holograms. Gem. No. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Whoa, Gem. Gem is truly outrageous. No. Whoa, Gem. No, I mean, I'm going to keep saying no. Was this a cartoon? What happened? So it was about, uh, like, they were essentially a rock group, a sort of a pop group. It was Gem was a leader of these bitches. She was like a hot 16-year-old chick. And her mom, I think, was a computer, <laughs> and her dad was a scientist. And she would touch her earring. She was a normal nerdy bitch, and then she would touch her earring, and she would turn into Jim, and she's like a fucking big pop star. The uh, girls that were sort of the rival pop group, it was a bad pop group called the Misfits. Granted, there was a group called the Misfits, an actual band. I didn't know if they had any legal issues yeah. with the Misfits that was on Jim versus the Misfits, the Misfits. 
um, with Jerry Only and Glenn Danzig. But yeah, and then they would battle it out every week. It was like there was the only villains on the show were the misfits. So it was like just this kid, these catty bitches that hated each other. And they fucking... <laughs> yeah, I've never. Uh, and again, this was a cartoon. Oh, yeah. And then they made it to a live action movie recently. Yeah. How recent? We are the misfits. Ba -da 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 -da. No, I've never seen it. You know what we should do? You know what the show should be, Shane? I'll cut you in on this what? OnlyFans cash, what? doggy. You know, I don't, I'll cut you in, doggy. Uh, we should just do the same way Jay and Ari and Dan, fuck it, they're just lazy losers, and they decided to do a, a fucking watch-along show yeah. for whatever that stupid fucking show is. And you, if you're 21 fucking, Jump Street. Yeah, you know, if you watch that show, you're a fucking loser, mind you. But regardless, we should do a gem watch-along show on zoom we watch just that we go through the entire fucking series of gem episode one i don't know i think you have girl brain and i think i should make you watch the revenant and shit like that where you're just no, like what the fuck is he gem. doing this doggy <laughs> you don't think why is he out in the woods doggy <laughs> all right so one week you pick like uh a film and then I'll pick <laughs> yeah, another yeah, episode yeah. Of gem the next week i don't want to do this show at all <laughs> <laughs> I think this show sounds terrible. <laughs> Come on, dude. You don't want to do the gem watch along show? And then we'll do a Revenant one. No. No, the Revenant. Can we even do watch alongs like that? I mean, how does Zach get away with that? Uh, a lot of gray area in the way that he does. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think gray area means it's definitely just illegal. <laughs> You know, you just sort of change some things. You put a little filter over it. You make the audio. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, again, this is circle of trust in this, in this chat. Trust, Everybody in here better fucking sh not tell anyone fucking also, shit. Also, this is only supposed to be – the only thing we're obligated to do is a 20-minute fucking thing, and this has gone way over. This is how much I'm giving to the fucking fans. I know, man. They, the Shane Gillis Show exclusively so on OnlyFans.com slash Lewis Shane Gomez. Oh, Welcome man. to the first ever Shane Gillis Show, everyone. This is not that. This is if it is, this is the last one. Shane, why can't you just fucking let me use your name for to make money for myself? <laughs> if you if you just had the Shane Gillis show, <laughs> that'd be funny. You could have the rights to that. I I will give you that. Dude, I'll give you a hundred dollars right now if I could call it the Shane Gillis show. If you just had you a, even, you never have to come on again necessarily. I just call it the Shane Gillis <laughs> show. Yes, it's very I'll, funny. I'll fucking Venmo you right now, a hundred dollars. It is literally funnier if I'm not on it. You can come on sometimes. Oh, Bobby, you know what I just uh, watched? What I just what? made my... You ever watch In Bruges? In Bruges? In Bruges? In Bruglia? No, just In Bruges. Bruges is a city. No. Ah, you'd like it. Well, I, I don't think you would. In Bruges fucking rules. I think it's top ten for me. I don't even know what that is. I just named you four of, the, four of like my favorite movies ever, and you've never seen one of them. <sighs> Disappointing. I'm, What's I'm your sending, favorite? What I'm, do you I'm watch? Sending, I'm sending um, Robert Kelly an invite. I'm gonna t I'm texting him now. Oh yeah, I'm get him in. Him. Robert Kelly, hold on. Robert Kelly sent you Zoom invite. We could watch music videos together, like Beavis and Butthead. That is a good idea. Right, jump. Because you would hate the music I like. What music do you like? Well, mostly rap, but I definitely can listen. I definitely like some gay music. Are you a rap fan? That's funny. I literally only listen to rap. There is there is other stuff in there. There's some some gayness creeps in from my past when I was a young young man that was uh, still at hope. Was, you know, I was trying to learn how to uh, rap um, rap god, and my niece did that. Yeah, and your niece. You told me you're like my niece did that. And I was like, it's cool. My niece can do it. You she do the whole thing. She's like ah, someone, 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 someone. Yeah, she can do that part. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Rap god. Uh, what'd Bobby say? Um, Shane, stop trying to go. Oh, if you want to go, just go, dude. It's a Shane Gillis show. I just bought the rights to the fucking name. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Stand matter. up, New York. No. Jump on real quick with me and Shane. That's what I just said. I'm FaceTiming him right now. Bobby. I just sent you a link. Jump on. Uh, we're on a Zoom call. No. Come on. No, I'm doing watching movies with my kids. Goodbye. It's too late. Your kids should be in bed. <laughs> what type of terrible dad are you? Goodbye. Tell him to put the pool away. Bye, Max. Not doing Sunday. Yeah, we'll come over Sunday. Come over Sunday. For sure. All right, God bless you and all your podcasts. <laughs>
Anytime you see on your podcast, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is the fucking man. I love Bobby Kelly so much. Yeah, man, dude. he's the best. And Mac, and literally him and my son are best, best friends. Actually, that's best awesome. Friends. So cute, dude. Really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's wrap this one up, dude. Yeah, man. Shane show first episode of the Shane Gillis show. I loved it. Yeah. Exclusively on OnlyFans.com. No, this was great. Was, you're bugged out that I'm calling it the Shane Gillis show. No, I don't, I don't care. Like I think it. it'll be funny. You can, you should call it the Shane Gillis show every time you literally just do horrific shit. Like anytime you do a real ass podcast where you're like, all right, today we're gonna fake rape a girl. Yeah, you know, Shane Gillis show. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. No, I do too. Thanks, Shane, thanks for having me. Man. Right after Shane was getting in trouble with SNL. We had Robbie Goodwin, who's a, a friend of ours, is a comedian. Oh, so to the funny! Podcast as Shane. <laughs> Shane had just during. gotten off the. It was during the whole thing, and Shane had just gotten on the phone with his agent, and he's like, "So, so, dude, don't want any podcasts right now. Just sort of like lay low. It'll be fine. Everything will be good." <laughs> and then Robbie Goodwin call in, and Robbie Goodwin did such a good Shane that your agent actually thought it was you. My agent called me and was like hey what what are you doing and i was like nothing <laughs> and then they were like you said that uh all your agents were dumb jews and you called a bunch of people gay and i was like that wasn't me and for real my agent was like i mean it's exactly what you would say <laughs> like yeah i got a fucking bunch of jews a bunch of dumb jews working on it <laughs> So fucking funny that your agent thought it was you. He was like, dude, we just talked. What the fuck was? What are you doing? Yeah. Well, well, here's the thing, and it's very funny because the same agents. So the agents, UTA hired me, and they they were fans of the podcast. Yeah, like my agent loved Matt and Shane's, and they listened to it, and they were like, I remember I had a meeting before SNL, like probably like a month before SNL, and they were like you should you should delete the podcast and i was like uh no i can't like i can't matt's about to have a kid i'm not just gonna bail on the podcast and they were like well you really need to and i was like uh maybe we can just delete like most of the old episodes we just moved studios and then uh they were like yeah i mean you just you can't say like you can't say like gay and retard or faggot anymore and i was like well that's <laughs> that's just not gonna happen dude that's i had literally said retarded you think i literally had to sit in a board meeting with people around a table and be like no i can't stop saying gay and retard <laughs> well at the, what, how do you stop at this point it's just there's no timeline no. on it right so it, it doesn't matter like you'll get in trouble for something you said 10 years ago it, it's so you have to yeah, I was, in completely and just say hey this is who i am and this is a brand of comedy that i had and take it or leave take it or leave it yeah i mean that's that's what it is and i never i literally never disagreed with that i was always like uh i mean i wasn't gonna lean in if i could just like get shit i'm not gonna i didn't change you know well, what happened with you was shane did not think he was ever getting something like snl and there's a few yeah. there's a few woke jobs right there's like snl there's uh um it's like late like night Daily Show SNL. correspondent right yeah one of the like that's there's a few things where it's like and you got to be pretty squeaky clean you got to be kind of woke you have to be a part of a certain brand in order to get those things and you just never thought that was happening so it doesn't matter like some of guys like some like gay or like chink those words are so mild compared to what like really well, shit, dirty dude. Comics my cat are my cat my cat just ran down here and just took a shit on the carpet right in front of me <laughs> it's hilarious she's like this it literally thing. sprinted You're gonna call down this here the Shane show? <laughs> dude See this little turd? The Shane Gillis Show, hosted by Luis anyway, Shane Gomez. That culprit. He just ran down and dumped. Um, um, this is it. But yeah, no, you're exactly right. I 100%, I was like, uh, it's fucking crazy. He just took a shit like that. Um, just one tiny turd. Uh, yeah, it was one of those gigs. Like, I, you could still, if, if nothing, if I'd never got SNL, I'd still be, like, I'd be fine with all the shit I've ever said. Nobody's going to go through your past if you get a special. Yeah. Ever. Or a it's movie never happened. or, uh, yeah. guess, you know, guest starring on a TV show. I mean, right now, with this climate, I think it'd be pretty hard to get a sitcom um, to have yeah, around yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but, yeah, but does anybody even get sitcoms? Yeah. No. Not at all. Sitcoms are fucking horrendous. This is it. 
Yeah, OnlyFans. but yeah, I mean, fuck. OnlyFans. This is where you ended up. Only <laughs> on OnlyFans, the cats are taking shits back in my parents' basement. It's we a real did nightmare. It. Um, all right, look, thank you guys for uh, being here. Thank you for subscribing to my OnlyFans. If you're listening to this, you guys are subscribed. It is free. You do not have to pay. We're never going to charge you to subscribe to OnlyFans. Go subscribe to the Legion of Skanks OnlyFans as well. And uh, you get some exclusive Wait, I, I don't have to ask. Week. OnlyFans, OnlyFans, uh, what, like, are you talking OnlyFans? Like, is this on OnlyFans? This is on OnlyFans. Like, where girls strip? Yes. Why is it on OnlyFans? Because we worked out a partnership with them. We are doing exclusive content for OnlyFans. Oh, shit. All right. Nice. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I like it. I like you. All right. Yeah, I'll do this again. This will be fun. Fuck yeah. This is a lot of fun, dude.